Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks guide to getting the most out of your smugglers run warehouse so let's get right to it shall we? So to summarise what the business of these warehouses are like, I'd say they're pretty much the same as those crappy CEO warehouses, only this time the missions are much more entertaining to complete, they're free of charge and are much quicker to obtain the packages. So I'd say that if you're wanting to make some cash then the smugglers run warehouses can be a feasible investment. So where to begin? To begin, I should probably just tell you what to buy and what to do basically. As a small dummy's guide to the business, I would just go ahead and say to buy these two items here. You'll buy one, do its mission, and while the cooldown timer is counting down after you've completed that mission, you go and do the other and go back and forth between these two items. Simple as that really. The reason you go for these is because they give you the biggest bulk stock bonus out of all the stock in this DLC. Well, medical supplies also do this, but you only really need to do it with these two items. Anyways, yes, you just go back and forth doing these missions and when you get past a certain amount of stock with this gear, you'll get a bonus payout when you eventually go out and sell them. When you get half of max stock of one of these three items, you'll get a 35% bonus when you sell them and then when it's at maximum stock, you'll get a huge 70% bonus when you sell all of it at once. So basically, over time you want to stock up as much cargo as you possibly can of one of these three types of cargo and you'll earn the most amount of money. Though if you do want to collect just one type of supply, you'll have to deal with the painful cooldown times that come after each mission. This can be up to 5 or 6 minutes depending on how much stock you already have. So how much can you earn in total doing this business? Well, for a full stock of any items put together, the max that you can earn is half a million. But if you do it like I do in this video, where you only collect one item to completely fill your stock, you'll earn $500,000 plus the 70% bonus, making $350,000. $50,000, so in total you'll earn a maximum of $850,000. So in total you'll earn a maximum of $850,000. It'll take you about 2 to 3 hours to completely fill up on your total stock, and about 3 to 4 hours if you want to fill all of that stock with the same item. Now this isn't taking into account the supplies that you can steal from other players, personally I don't really bother with them. I always like to make a glitched empty server to collect my supplies. I invite at least three of the people to join my motorcycle club business to collect the maximum of four crates per mission, and if you're wondering how to create a glitched empty session, then I'm sure the lovely people in the comments can tell you how. Anyways, yes, for collecting crates, I would find a nice quiet session and invite at least three of your friends to help you out. The more friends you have, the merrier, not only because the supply run missions are long, they're also pretty dangerous and difficult. Not only will you have players to worry about, but you'll also have the NPCs upgraded arsenal to worry about. And they're not afraid of using their homing missiles, trust me. Anyways, before I end the video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to make the process of collecting boxes easier and more efficient. Tip number one. Ignore the planes that the missions give you. There's one mission in particular where it tells you to get in a bunch of rogues to carry out bombing runs on a bunch of buildings. Do not use them, okay? Grab a Hydra or any other jet if you don't have one, and then use them to blow those suckers up, cause those rogues are the slowest planes in the entire game. Their acceleration and top speed are massively nerfed for the mission, and they're so slow that I could wager money that a cyclist could go faster than these things. I'm not kidding. Speaking of not using the mission planes, tip number two. I would highly recommend that you always use Hydras for the missions. One, because they can hover and make collecting crates much easier, and two, because they have that instant death laser beam, and you'll be using it a lot, especially in those missions where you have to destroy like 30 aircraft. No kidding, that's how many enemies that can appear in a mission, and sometimes they're immune from being locked on by rockets. So I highly recommend that you use a Hydra for everything. Tip number three, blow up those bloody trucks. Quite often you'll see the cargo that you have to collect will be inside a vehicle of some sort. The mission expects you to get inside and drive them all the way to your base. Usually it's inside a truck, but you can also find them in helicopters too. Blow those suckers up! Don't worry, the boxes will come out when you destroy the vehicle, allowing you to pick them up in your vehicle which goes like 10 times quicker. All in all, just ignore most of the advice that the mission objectives say to you and use your Hydra for pretty much everything. It'll be much quicker than using the vehicles that they supply you. So there we have it guys, that's my complete guide to the smugglers run warehousing business. I hope you found this video useful and hey, if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyron Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.